All right. Coming to you from a beautiful day in Florida. Just going to go through and clean up the intake manifold off my 2001 XK8 live video. So just want to capture, you know, some of the nice things here. Uh, good thing about it, I'm going to go ahead and just take off all the bolts that I've laid in here inside of the intake. They're pretty good. They don't need to be cleaned up too bad, but however you guys want to do your own. put it back together I'll do my best to show all the different plugs and everything but pretty simple operation um, you know obviously intake manifold I did not remove the uh, throttle body or anything like that you can if you want um, mine was fine you know they make a gasket that course that goes in between this when you split it um, I've done this a couple times now and it's just easier for me just to remove the whole thing in one easy fell swoop here. Um, now obviously, you have to take off the, in, the injector uh, electronic clips here. Those are kind of tricky. Uh, you know, again, there's some hoses here for, uh, you know, the fuel lines and such. And then, uh, you know, basically, it, once you go around, just, I just methodically go through here and, uh, you know, unclip all the electronics very carefully sometimes it takes a long time that's to me that's the most difficult or uh, mind-numbing part is just making sure you don't break things you know take it real super slow you know you probably don't want to do it on a super cold day because these clips uh, will break and then obviously some of these you know get tricky you can get the little Jaguar tool or sometimes you can use two uh, little screwdrivers on the side to uh, you know, go through and, and pop those loose. But again, some of these get brittle. So, I mean, just depending on the age of your car, these are pretty good. I mean, they're formed pretty well, but, you know, from heat. But I wouldn't say they're, you know, like hard pasta, ready to crack. Um, these are pretty good. I am replacing the value valley vacuum hose that goes underneath. Um, so that, you know, that's already been done. I put that in the car. Yeah, just give you some other look at the intake manifold you know obviously you gotta get some uh, the little coolant hose here um you know there's there's a couple bolts that mount inside here there's a little vacuum hose on the passenger side that you have to push this little tab in uh right in the side you know you get it with a screwdriver while you're pulling the uh the vacuum tube out at the same time so you know just a little mindset there Obviously, these bolts sit in that little uh, groove to uh, bolt back in place. I just like to put my bolts back where they are, so it's one less thing i got to remember what, what goes where. And let's see here. You know, obviously, this is your uh, fuel pressure Schrader valve, where if you ever want to test your fuel pressure, that's easy to do. It should be on the passenger side, at least on the 2001s. I don't know about the other various models. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. You know, basically here you have the ability, uh, you know, you take off the throttle cable. You'll have to clip. There's a little um, right here where the throttle cable lays in is a little zip tie and a grommet. You'll have to undo the zip tie. Don't let it spin too far or too fast. Um, if you spin it too far out, it'll actually tighten the cable. When you start the car up, it, it could, you know, have it where the throttle is, is open quite a bit and rev way up on you. So you want it to, you know, not really have a lot of play, but not, you know, move the, the cable, obviously. And, uh, you know, basically from there, that's another uh, fuel fuel line area right here. That's where one of the fuel lines uh, connect. And you'll have to have uh, some fuel line disconnects there. So pretty straightforward. Obviously, the bolts uh, go in these little holes here, as you'll see. 
and then uh, you know for each and every one of them uh, obviously you want to put them in the correct torque spec and the correct um, obviously the correct order in the manual I'll, I'll be going over that when I put this thing in here eventually just taking my time having some fun the underside of it is where the gaskets go so this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to kind of clean it up a little bit. Some of the gaskets, they should come out pretty easy. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean mine up here with a with a basically a uh, toothbrush and a uh, you know and a little bit of again CRC throttle body and intake cleaner, and we'll kind of go from there. So the first thing, obviously, you don't want to over uh, you know, scratch or damage any of your uh, the areas here. So, you know, from my point of view, just make sure you gently, if these don't want to come out, just make sure you gently get a pick and don't scar up any of the plastic. You know, obviously the gasket is okay. Like this one's here. It's a little stuck in there, but it, you, know, you can try it from a different area. And then just slowly try to pry it out here without scarring up especially any of the mating surface within the intake because you do not want air leaks. Yeah and this one obviously this is a 2001 these are definitely original it does not want to come out see it's starting to come out there Let's do it gently And there you go. There's one. Some of them want to fall out pretty, pretty well. Some of them do not. So just go around one by one, like this one here. You can feel it. It's actually moving around in there. That's why it's a good idea to probably do this all at once because, you know, obviously these are almost 20 year old or you know for depending on when your car was manufactured if it's 2001 especially it could be 20 years old so you know little things like that it's good to update your coolant as a side note i got these on um, i think rock auto if it was dirt cheap they they had these on clearance um these are the victor rhines if you go in there you can do RSS feed. I'm going to actually do a little video on how to, uh, you know, how to easily go through and uh, show on our cars where even um, budget parts are. So I'm going to do a video on that later. How to get the best deal, bang for your buck for different, you know, whether they're OEMs or the OEM manufacturers for these cars. So just make sure you go around, get the get the pick in there, jam it into the gasket itself, but not the not the actual plastic. You don't want to start up. Yeah, one by one. Sometimes you can go straight down the vein. That's a good way to do it. That way you won't miss it. Yeah, just peel it up like that. Real simple. Get the camera a little bit closer. Maybe that helps. Apologize for the background noise as I sit up here. Of course, the neighbor's kid decides to have a little fun, but we approve of that, right? Everybody's on lockdown, so if you've got a 
outdoor toy. It's okay in my book. All right. So got those out. You know, my car's got a little bit of corrosion. I'm, I may try to knock a little bit of this off uh, here and there. I don't know how crazy I'm going to get. I always put a rag in here too. You know, we'll clean out the throttle body a little bit um, as we move forward. But, you know, I always put a rag in here just to make sure there's no uh, debris or anything that can accidentally fall down into the throttle body. You got to be really careful about these heard people that had to have them rebuilt and uh, from what I know it is not cheap so I don't want to make that mistake all right so I'll roll it back over and get it maybe so the camera can see it a little bit better again these are plastic that's why you want to make sure you absolutely do the correct torque specs I do not want to damage or break any of these and the next thing I use is uh, pretty straightforward. Just an old toothbrush. Not want to use a wire brush on on this guy. Um, after I'm done, I'm gonna go through here. I hit it once with with a good uh, shop air in my garage, but it's nice just to be able to go through and uh, you know clean it up a little bit more. I'll hit it once more with uh, shop air before I put it back in after it's all clean. But first thing I like to do before it's even wet with cleaner just go in here if there's any grime any little pieces of dirt hit that I go through here get all the little grooves toothbrush do each one all right. And then, you know, pretty straightforward. I just hit each one. I don't want to breathe this stuff too much. Right. Yeah. Need spray a little bit on it right there. Don't get crazy. These are pretty clean. A little gradu right here on the bolt hole, but the inside of these are actually looking at them pretty spotless. So I don't think I'm going to get too crazy. I don't believe on the other XK8 I worked on. Uh, I've got an uncle that has one of the family ones that he takes really good care of. I pulled the intake and did something very similar to his. And his was pretty good as well. So you know, I'll just go through here. Just make sure. And do each one, one by one. Get down the groove. Don't want to scratch anything. That's why we're using a little toothbrush. Sounds pretty good. Right, move on to the next one. Like I said, this one's pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with it. Other than a little bit of corrosion on the top, you know, the metal. This one, uh, I said before in another video, it 
live semi close to the beach, so a lot of salt spray in there. A little bit of corrosion on the pieces. Not too bad though. Yeah, all right, so next thing we'll do, you know, I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of spray, a little bit of cleaner, not too much. Get some on my rag. Just wipe it down. Some of the areas. This is really just for more of the looks later. Probably get the engine a full detail when I get into it, but this is also nice to get some of this stuff while you're in here. Just be able to get some of the nooks and crannies. We'll just button it all back up. I'm doing this in a well ventilated area for sure. But this guy only has 18,000 miles on it, so it was a terrible, terrible. to do before I hit it with shower pair is just again one more time just kind of spray each one so it drips out maybe overkill I do some things that I'm superstitious with Take it around to the garage and spray it out. All right, well, that's dripping out on my towel here. Let's see if I can. So, this type of corrosion, I don't know how much I'll be able to help. I don't know if a little cleaner will work, but yeah, probably not. Yeah, and like I said, I do not want, I'm pretty superstitious about not wanting to rebuild this thing. Because I know these can get out of place. So, probably again hit it with And that's that. Don't think there's anything else to talk about on this guy. Nope. Hit it with some air and I'll be right back.
All right. Do a closer view here. Uh, I blew everything off with compressed air, so it is really clean right now. And then, let's see, get a better angle here. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Not much to these. They just come in a box like this. Bagware made it nice where you really can. I don't think you can put it either way on these particular gaskets yet. They are universal on each side. They both have a, a little raised lip if we can see that. But I can't really adjust here. You'll notice on each side. There is a raised lip and this little indentation right there makes it easy to uh, find out where it goes. Goes right in there. And you'll tell real quick that even you know if your old ones if they shrunk up, the new one's got a little detent here on the side, these little notches. You can see that if I can get it in there and adjust it. These little notches help squeeze it inside of the groove. And so these guys will not want to go anywhere on you, or they shouldn't. So that's the nice thing. Just get lined up, tap it all the way around, and then I like to just, you know, make sure you put your hands on the whole thing. Make sure it's all flush. Because again, you do not want air leaks. Get the other side. And lather, rinse, repeat. Yeah, so it's nice and snug. I don't know. I like new gaskets. Especially these kind. These are kind of cool. They go in. They stay in pretty easy. They're a different color. They look good in there. you know as you saw in my previous video you want to make sure the engine side where this mates up to is nice and clean as well took some time used a light scotch bright pad just for super light some more intake cleaner And there we go. So pretty much all you need to do to get that ready. Handle that. Like I said, soft bristled toothbrush. Yeah, just have another one laying around. I just keep a couple in my toolbox just for fun. Nice little curved pick. These go on sale at Harbor Freight all the time. Pick those up. Sometimes I give them away for free. And some intake and throttle body cleaner. All right, so next video we'll make is obviously putting this back in. I now have a socket to put the crankshaft pulley back in. And then we'll assemble the water pump, crossover pipe, everything else starting to go back together. See you guys soon.